you guys and welcome back. I'm be doing a Dark Magician deck today. They picked up, um, kind of cool. I wanted to show just some of the support stuff that they've been continuing to do with like the old archetypes. So we'll get into this one. It's got uh, three Dark Magicians because it's a Dark Magician deck. Then the Dark Magician Girl with the effect of gains 300 attack for every Dark Magician or Magician of Black Chaos in your graveyard. Not too bad. Then we got Apprentice Illusion Magician. This is one of the newer ones. You can special summon this card from your hand by discarding one card. This card is normal summon or special summon. You can add one Dark Magician from your deck to your hand during the damage calculate during damage calculation in either player's turn. If your other Dark Spellcaster type monster battles an opponent monster, you can send this card from your hand or face up from your field to the graveyard. That monster you control gains 2,000 attack and defense during damage calculation only. Um card's kind of cool because I mean you can sort of hold on to it in your hand you don't really want to be summoning it you just like discard it from your hand and you give make the dark magician 4500 so that's pretty strong you can tell like which ones are the newer cards because they all have paragraph and then these ones are like old school cards so <laughs> uh, here we go the magician's rod when this card is normal summoned, you can add one spell or trap card from your deck to your hand that specifically lists the Dark Magician in its text. During your opponent's turn, if you activate a spell or trap card effect while this card is in your graveyard, except during the damage step, you can tribute one spellcaster type monster, add this card to your hand. You can usually use effect a Magician Rod once per turn. So this lets you filter out your spells and traps for your Dark Magician deck, which your spells and traps are usually pretty important, at least a couple of them. So this is a really good card in the deck. Then we got the Kiwi Magician Girl. During either player's turn, you can discard this card. Magician Girl monsters you currently control gain 300 attack and defense for each Magician Girl monster with different names on the field and in the graveyards. Till the end of this turn, spellcaster type monsters you control cannot be destroyed by card effects, and your opponent cannot target them with card effects. Um, This one, it's another power boosting for discarding it from your hand so that's pretty cool a lot of the game revolves at least a lot of different type of cards now revolve from like discarding from your hand which is kind of nice uh, once per turn you can discard one spellcaster type monster to draw a card once per turn if this card is targeted for an attack you can target one spellcaster type monster in your graveyard except for chocolate magician girl special summon it and change the attack target to it if you do the attack monster attack becomes half its current attack so this thing can be really strong. I mean, if they attack while this thing's out on the field without destroying it first, and you have Dark Magician in your graveyard, I mean, most people probably play around it, but if you do, then <laughs> you discard, you can like have Dark Magician in your hand and not even have him in your graveyard, discard him into your graveyard, use her effect, and then you can special summon him from your graveyard, change the attack of the attacking monster to the Dark Magician, and then half the attacking monsters attack and that should be enough for you to kill it and do some damage so that's kind of cool and we got apple magician girl once per turn if this card is targeted for an attack you can special summon one level five or lower monster spellcaster type monster from your hand then change the attack target to it and if you do the attacking monster attack comes half its current attack this card is destroyed by a card effect. You can target up to three other Magician Girls with different names in your graveyard and add them to your hand. A uh, nice recycle card. So if you get like three of these different Magician Girls in your graveyard, then you can, yeah, get a ball back to your hand. So that's kind of cool. Something cool about this actually is uh, if you take the first letter of every one of these Magician Girl type things, it actually spells black for Black Magician. Like you got the B, L, A, C, and K. And then the K is like the big monster card of them. So that's kind of cool. Then we got Ma Lemon Magician Girl. Once per turn you contribute one Magician Girl monster except Lemon Mag Magician Girl. Add one spellcaster type monster from your deck to your hand once per turn. If it's targeted for an attack, you can special summon one spellcaster type monster from your hand. But its effects and if any are negated. Then change the attack to it. And if you do, the attack monster becomes half its current attack. All these guys basically have some sort of effect like that. So this deck can be kind of fun if they actually attack into you. Without destroying your monsters first, which is what we're going to hope for. That they don't just wipe my field with card effects before attacking. And they actually attack into me. Because that's 
just like the blue eyes deck that's when it can get fun but you gotta have somebody who's willing to <laughs> actually attack into you um if this card is normal summon you can add one magician girl monster from your deck to your hand once per turn during either player's turn when your opponent activates a card effect that targets this card or targets this card for an attack you can change this card's battle position and if you do special summon one magician girl monster from your deck except barrier magician girl so kind of handy for cycling through your deck some more then we got the meta two blossom ash blossom because the card's killer card's ridiculous it stops so many combos and everything which is a lot a lot of the game is about now then we got three dark magician circles when it's activated look at top three cards of your deck you can reveal one dark magician or one spell or trap that specifically lists the card dark magician in the text among them and add it to your hand also place the remaining cards on top of your deck in any order Dark Magician is normal or special summon to your field, except during the damage step. You can target one card your opponent's controls, banish it. And you can only use the effect of Dark Magician Circle once per turn. Uh, yeah. So, if you special summon or normal summon Dark Magician while this thing's out, you get to banish card for free. Pretty, pretty neato card. Continuous. So, I mean, as long as they don't get rid of it, which is what we're hoping for. Then we got Dark Magic Attack. If you control Dark Magician, destroy all spells and traps your opponent controls. So, yeah, you got Dark Magician out. You can wipe their field of spells and traps, at least. Then we got Bond Between Teacher and Student. If you control Dark Magician, special summon one Dark Magician girl from your hand, deck, or graveyard. Then you can set one Dark Magic Attack, Dark Burning Attack, Dark Burning Magic, or Dark Magic Twin Burst directly from your deck. You can only activate one uh, bond between teacher and student per turn. Pretty cool, because I mean, yeah, you get a free Dark Magician Girl from your deck or graveyard. Then you get to also set one of your good spells or traps for the Dark Magician archetype. Then we got Dark Magician Inheritance. Banish two spells from your graveyard. Add one spell or trap from your deck to your hand that specifically lists the card Dark Magician or Dark Magician Girl in its text. Except Dark Magician Inheritance. You can only activate it once per turn. So as you can see, the deck has like a lot of cycling to be able to get to the cards you want, which is why most of these are one ofs. So that's a pretty good one to keep up consistency. Then we got uh, Dark Burning Magic. If you control monsters who original name are Dark Magician, Dark Magician Girl, destroy all cards your opponent's controls. So <laughs> if you actually get to pop this thing, which there's two of them, and you have actually have a Dark Magician, Dark Magician Girl, which you can get on the same turn. You can just destroy their whole field. And that's really, that can be Game Ender right there. I mean, if things go right. So that's a, re that's a really strong card. But the condition is kind of hard to pull off. And I mean, you got to hope they don't negate it. So then we got Daya Tamias. This card is always treated as Legendary Dark Dragon Tamias. Target one Dark Magician monster you control. Fusion summon one fusion monster from your extra deck that lists the monster on the field as fusion material, using it as fusion material. Can only activate Diatomias once per turn. Well, you can only activate one of them per turn. So, you get a Dark Magician out, and you get to summon any of the monsters from the fusion deck. I think Dark Magician... Yeah, that lists that monster on the field. I had to double check because I didn't know if you could do Dark Magician Girl. But no, you can only do Dark Magician stuff. So we got we got this quite a few Dark Magician fusion monsters. We got three of them that we can get out from that card effect. Then we got Raigeki. Uh, a lot of people say you don't main deck this, but this guy did. He made this. So, yeah. It's usually a side deck card, I guess, but I guess he was looking for that one spot and he didn't know what to put in. Might take it out for an effect veil or something like that, or impermanence or phantasme. But I mean that just increases the deck price like crazy. Then we got Monster Reborn. Target one monster in either player's graveyard. Special summon it. Yeah, Monster Reborn, old school card. Then we got Eternal Soul. Every Dark Magician in your monster zone is unaffected by your opponent's card effects. This face-up card leaves the field. Destroy all monsters you control. You can only use the following effect of Eternal Soul once per turn. You can activate one of these effects. Special summon one Dark Magician from your hand or graveyard. Add one Dark Magician attack or a thousand knives from your deck to your hand. Some more filtering. And it also makes your Dark Magicians unaffected by everything. So 
keeps them safe. So that's pretty good. You got some more protection than you do in Blue Eyes. Blue Eyes is more about OTKing and hoping they don't stop you. Dark Magician is more about protecting your stuff. So it's pretty handy. But I mean, if they do destroy it, then you basically lose all the monsters that you control, which is a pretty big downside. So you hope that they don't twin twister this or something. We got Magician Navigation, Special Summon 1, Dark Magician from your hand, and then Special Summon 1, Level 7 or lower, Dark Spellcaster Monster from your deck. If you control Dark Magician, except the turn that this card was sent to the graveyard, you can banish it from your graveyard, target one face-up spell, or trap your opponent controls. It has its effects negated until the end of this turn. So, kind of handy, because I mean, it's protection to keep your eternal soul alive and stuff, and really messes with them. And it's pretty nice, because if you pop this... You get to summon Dark Magician from your hand, and then you can just go and get a Dark Magician girl from your deck. And then there you go. All you need is this, and um, Dark Burning Magic Attack, and if you pop it off, like these two cards, and if you pop them off, right, you can just get Dark Magician, Dark Magician girl, Burning Magic Attack, wipe their field. And yeah, that's pretty crazy. Then we got Dark Magician the Dragon Knight. You need Dark Magician one Dragon Monster, but you use Eye of to get it out. So, this card name becomes Dark Magician while on the field or in the graveyard. Your opponent cannot target spells or traps you control with card effects. Also, they cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects. So, <laughs> the trick is, you get Eternal Soul out, and then you get out Dark Magician the Dragon Knight, and then all your Dark Magician monsters are immune to everything, and your spells and traps are immune to everything, and... That usually gives you some protection, and they basically have to attack over you. So if you get to pull that off, that's really cool. Then we got Amulet Dragon, Dark Magician. Again, we use Aya Tamias to get this out. Must be Fusion Summon with above Fusion Materials or with Aya Tamias. This card is Special Summon. Target any number of spells or traps in the graveyard, minimum one. Banish those c targets, and if you do, it gains 100 attack for each card banished by this effect. This card is destroyed. You can target one spell cast or monster in the graveyard. Special Summon this that target. Um, not as handy, because I mean you gotta banish your spells. You can get them pretty big though, and if you already have this guy out and your Eternal Soul out, then they're immune to card effects anyway, and then you just get a big beat stick. It is easier just to like get an Apprentice Illusion Magician in your hand though and discard that. You got Dark Paladin, you need Dark Magician plus Buster Blader. Must be Fusion Summoned when the spell card is activated. Quick effect, you can discard you can discard one card, negate the activation, and if you do destroy it, this card must be face up on the field to activate and to resolve this effect. And he gains 500 attack for each dragon monster on the field and in the graveyard. Some more negation there, kind of handy. Not too bad of a body, I mean, especially if you got a dragon in the graveyard, which these are dragons, but hopefully they're not in your graveyard. <laughs> um, so he can become pretty beefy too. Then we got Dark Magician Girl, the Dragon Knight. Dark Magician Girl 1 Dragon Monster must be Fusion Summoned with above Fusion Materials or with the I Tamias. Once per turn, quick effect. You can send one card from your hand to the graveyard, then target one face-up card on the field. Destroy that target. Again, sort of like Dark Paladin, except it doesn't negate effects. You can just go and kill cards on the field with this, so pretty cool. And then we got Ebon Illusion Magician, two level 7 monsters. You can also XYZ summon this card by using a rank 6 spellcaster type monster. XYZ monster you control as XYZ materials. Once per turn, you can de detach one XYZ material from this card. Special summon one spellcaster type normal monster from your hand or deck. Spellcaster type normal monster declares an attack. You can target one card your opponent controls, banish it. You can only use the effect of Ebon Illusion Magician once per turn. So, some more banishing. Being able to banish your cards, your opponent's cards when you attack and stuff can be really handy. Then we got this cool looking one, Ebon High Magician. When this card has XYZ material, you can activate a quick play spell card or trap card from your hand during your opponent's turn by detaching one XYZ material from this card at activation. This XYZ summon card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, or if you this XYZ summon card, you control is sent to your graveyard by opponent's card effect. Special summon one dark spellcaster type monster from your hand or deck, then destroy one card on the field. Uh, basically makes your quick play spells and traps, hand traps, so that's pretty handy. 
Then we got two apprenticeless witchling lings. You need two dark monsters. All dark monsters on the field gain 500 attack and defense. Also, all light monsters on the field lose 400 attack and defense. This card was destroyed by a battle by a card effect. You can target one dark monster in your graveyard. Add it to your hand. You can only use it once per turn. Um, has some nice pointing. The way it's arrows points. That way you can keep summoning your stuff. Like, because if you fusion summon or XYZ summon, it has to be to an arrow it points to or else you only get one. Then we got some more meta stuff. Tray more Cerberus. Um, you can discard one card and target one special summon monster in your opponent's mind monster zone to destroy it. Then if it's co-linked and when it's activated you can draw one card and then it cannot be co-linked monster you control cannot be destroyed by card effects. We got another meta card, Trimor Phoenix. Since this card is linked summon, you can discard one card, then target one spell or trap your opponent controls, destroy it. Then if this card was co-linked by the effect activated, you can draw a card. And it cannot be destroyed by battle. And we got Guy Saber, the Lightning Shadow. You just need two monsters. It's a Link level 3. And has arrows pointing to the left, right, and down. So can be kind of handy. Then we got Borolo Dragon. Because this thing opens up OTK potential. I mean, it is a Link 4. And you need 3 plus effect monsters. But neither player can target this card with monster effects. Once per turn, quick effect, you can target one face of monster in the field. It loses 500 attack and defense. Your opponent cannot activate cards or card effects to response to its activation. To start a damage step, this card attacks opponent's monster. You can place that opponent's monster in a zone this card points to. Take control of it, but send it to the graveyard during that phase of the turn. So yeah. You go and attack, take control of one of their monsters, attack with it, and you can kill them in some cases. So Borlo Dragon's pretty meta too because for reasons like that. So that's the deck. We're going to get into some games, and I'll see you guys there. All right. Let's, do, let's go paper this time. I never go rock. Which, oh, should have went rock. <laughs> and I suck at rock, paper, scissors, I'll tell you that. So, you can't activate that. Can't really use that. But I can get a Dark Magician from Spell for my deck. Um, maybe I can get Dark Magician off one of these. Hmm. Let's normal summon this because this is like the combo starter for the Dark Magician type of berry girls. Yeah, about to get Ash Blossomed. Maybe I should have went with Rod. So, which one should we go for? The one that gets it from my hand, probably. So we'll go for Lemon. Lemon Magician Girl. And we'll activate this. Um. Yeah, this one seems good. Oh, I got to pick on which way I want the cards to go on top of my deck. Okay. Or am I waiting for him? I'm confirming three cards. I did. Okay, there we go. Yeah, that one. Give me. <laughs> okay, there we go. <laughs> Guess I'll put this one on top. So... I do have a... This is not a Dark Magician. Uh, well, this is a rough start. Can't really activate any of these. So that's really going to be my turn. Cool. Oof. That's rough.
So the chance of me getting OTK'd kind of high. Ooh, we're facing a blue eyes deck too. Oh man. Oh no, that's really bad. <laughs> blue eyes can OT like that's the one thing. Blue eyes, if you don't interrupt them, they can OTK you pretty easy. It's like their benefit. Um. That's kind of odd. I get a Dark Magician Girl. How's so I can actually activate some of these effects? I mean, she just went to defense position, so... Kind of surprised they attacked into it. I guess some people do. I mean, your options when they got this out are like, just don't attack or... I mean, is it really worth it to destroy that to let me get a Dark Magician Girl? I don't know. Oh, uh, I mean, when you got a creature swap. That changes things. <laughs> okay, so we stole my Dark Magician Girl. Took my girl. Uh, crap. Well, we're gonna normal some of this. Hopefully, he doesn't have an Ash Blossom for this one. This one's this is a pretty important card. You get this out. No, I do not want to Ash Blossom my own card. Where's the one? There we go. Magician Navigation. Oh no, it has to be for my hand. Shoot. Um. I need a way. I need to get the Dark Magician for my hand. To my hand. So what do I got here for my options? I got this guy and this guy. Neither of them are really going to help me because they can't get over my Dark Magician. Um, they can't get over that card, rather. No Eye of Tamias or anything really sucks. So we'll activate another one of these. Oh! There we go. Put it this way. So now that worked out. Because now I get to summon... I get a special summon Dark Magician for my hand. This is a quick play. I don't have enough spells in my trap zone to be able to do that. So these ones I might as well hold on to in my hand. Um, I think we'll end there. So this will let me get my Dark Magician, Dark Magician Girl out. Since we got Dark Magician in my hand, so this is going to be pretty killer if we get to pull this off. Though I would like that backup card that gives me bonus attack because, I mean, he gets a blue eyes out. That's going to be rough anyway. But I think I can recover from that. think I can recover from that. this one do yeah we're gonna use dark magic attack wait oh oops no unlink there we go. Well, I think with the way chaining works, it's going to allow him to destroy this now. So now I can get out a Dark Magician Rod. 
Has to be normal summons, so that's not as handy. Should I go for Dark Magician? I think I might go Apprentice Magician. I really screwed this up just now. Because now he's going to target my Dark Magician. Yeah. I'm going to banish that. Um, I'm going to use her effect. Get a Dark Magician in my hand. That didn't work out too bad. So now this card is banished. These things... Yeah, he's going to summon... We're going to... Try to cancel one of those blue eyes at least. Now he's going to activate the second one. He is going to get one blue eyes out of that. And kill one of my circles. Um... Yeah, I think we're going to do this. We're actually going to tribute summon here. We're going to banish this card. What can I chain to that? I'm going to banish this, cancel Torrential Tribute. Then, I activate this. I should grab the one from my graveyard. I'm going to set this. Then we're going to activate this to get rid of his freaking blue eyes. Then... Why not activate this? Get rid of two of these. Add an internal soul to my hand. That sounds good. So that's a good card. Finally got this one. There we go. Then, yeah, we're going to go to the battle phase. Attack. Attack. Do some chunky damage there. Um, uh, card effects. See, I don't have the rod. The rod back up to keep this safe. Might as well activate it. Screw it. Because he's going to get a blue eyes anyway. No. 
I do not want to activate that yet. Uh, from reductor hand. Now this destroys it so it doesn't negate its activation. So there's no point in hitting this yet. I'll probably hit it if it lets me when you summons his blue eyes and everything. There's the blue eyes he's revealing to get his alternate blue eyes out. Yes. Dark magic attack. Boom. <laughs> Should I use magician rod? Yeah, because I'm going to need... We'll get rid of one of these Dark Magicians and add it back to my hand so I can get another spell or trap. So he doesn't take battle damage, but he has my life points and then it goes back to the deck. What? Oh, it has to be during his standby phase, so it keeps him safe for a turn. That's handy. Can't even be destroyed, so I can't really do much about it. Normal summon this. Use its effect. Special summon. Oh, he gave up. Must be he didn't have a way to get a blue eyes out. So that was a wonky battle, but we won it. <laughs> Dark Magician deck, pretty cool. Pretty cool. It's definitely more consistent than the freaking blue eyes deck because the blue eyes deck is blue eyes deck can pop off and OTK you in a turn, but this one has a lot more consistency going for it. At least the one that I was messing around with. I might try another blue eyes deck. But yeah, that's game one. Let's get to the next one. Alright, we're gonna rock this time. Okay, we're going to rock again. Always go for the same thing. There we go. We're going first. That guy whooped me so bad, my client has crashed like three times now. Oh, man. See, last time I got to see my hand. And, oh, man. And then it froze, like, right as I got my starting hand. And I had a really good hand last time. Oh, man. Okay, well, um. So. This is what we do with this. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no. We might get OTK'd. Oh, we got another week opening. This is going to be a horrible explanation of it. Yes, we're going to... We're going to... We're going to stop that. No drawing bonus cards for you. Oh, danger. Okay. Did I pick? Wait, why is this one all... Oh. Okay. I see. Why was it showing me the color of the card, though? That's what I'm more confused about. I think I should have gone with not 
discarding it. So, let's see if it does that again. Yeah, like, that's the danger card, right? Why is it showing me? Oh. Or does he have more dangers in his hand? I'm confused. I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure I was not supposed to... be able to tell which one it was. Oof, he just took 4k for... He's about to do something dangerous. What does this thing do? Okay, basically it lets you... Oh my god! Well, <laughs> my Dark Magician girl isn't gonna do crap. Jesus, then he got to draw four cards off that. Because he used four monsters. I mean, it doesn't matter if you pay half your life points. If Oh, wait a minute, no. What? Okay. Let's keep going, buddy. <laughs> it doesn't matter if you pay half your life points if you're going to kill your opponent that turn, I guess, so... I can't do anything about this, so stop asking me. Even, like, I don't know, I might be able to protect myself from a frickin' OTK. Maybe. Okay, so his hand's gone. <laughs> can't do anything else, right? Oh, wait. <laughs> oh, wait. He got something else in his hand. I don't know what that was. Okay. Do whatever you want, buddy, because I can't do anything about it. Oh, so that lets him special summon dragon monster. Is this Thunder Dragons? Oh, this is Thunder Dragons! Oh, God! Well, see, we face, like, the sort of, oh, I'm breaking into meta, I'm pretty strong deck, and I counter some of the meta deck Cyber Dragons. Now we're fighting Thunder Dragons. And wooey! Wooey! <laughs> we're gonna die, <laughs> for sure. I'm running Dark Magician. This crap... This crap is not gonna work. But it's fun. It's got Dark Magician Girl. One of the most iconic cards. Not that this was, oh my god, 3,000. Okay. Oh, another one! Oh, another one. See, he had nothing in his hand! He had nothing in his hand! How is he still playing? <laughs> How? Ignore chain. Screw it. I'm done clicking no. Until he enters battle phase. If that's even going to save me. Five thousand eight hundred on the board right now. Oh, now he's got the th this. The, he's got this god card out. Five thousand, three thousand, five thousand eight hundred, seven thousand, eight thousand four hundred. Oh, whoa, eight thousand six hundred. Oh, uh, okay, you're still not done. Oh wait, oh oh shit, he got another one. <laughs> What? <laughs> no! I'm not chained into any of this crap. It don't even matter. Even if my Dark Magician Girl blocks an attack. You just keep going. I'm curious. I'm gonna... I've never faced a Thunder Dragon's deck on this yet. 
I face Cell, Mangrades, Star Strikers, and the other meta decks, but Thunder Dragons I have not tried or actually faced yet, but I know they're one of the top tiers too, and this is, this is, yep, yeah, okay, cool, Rengeki's gone, that was one of my hopes, <laughs> but it's not like I'm going to make it to the end of the turn anyway. Oh, 2,800, yes, go! Wait, why can't, oh, I can't activate, oh, yep, woo <laughs> Well... <laughs> <laughs> 3,000, 6,000. There's an OTK, guys. It finally happened. How much damage was that? That was 3,000 on that, right? Or 2,000? Okay, let's say 2,800. So that's 6,000, 8,800. Plus 5,600. <laughs> 13,000. 14,400 damage. Holy shit. In one turn, in one turn, 14,400 damage coming at your face with my one face down card. My Ash Blossom, my Ash Blossom at the wrong time, I guess. I don't even know if I could have interrupted that. Because I have not faced this deck to know when to Ash Blossom it. Like, Sail Mangrates, I know, okay, Ash Blossom, their Gazelle, you have a chance. Uh, Star Strikers, Ash Blossom, their Engage, or their thing that lets them search out Engage, then you have a chance. But, holy crap. He had nothing in his hand. I was like, okay, maybe I'm safe because he has like, what, 5,600 damage on the board. Maybe I'm safe for a turn. And then he's just like, oh, I don't care if I have no cards in my hand. I'm going to play 20 more cards somehow, draw a crap ton of cards, refresh my hand, and then get 14,600 damage on the board. And with this dragon, what does this thing even do? I know everybody complains about this card. Let me see. Okay. Oh, blah, blah, blah. By attributing one thunder effect to a kinetics cannot be added from the main deck to your opponent's hand except by drawing them. This card would be destroyed by battle or card effect. You can banish one thunder type monster from your graveyard instead. Oh. So, Rengeki wouldn't have helped because just discard a thunder type monster and it stays alive. I couldn't have searched anything from my deck because of what that thing does. Along with that... It has more attack than my Dark Magician could hope to have unless I had an Apprentice Magician in my hand. Woo! Okay, well, that's that's Thunder Dragon, guys. That's one of the top tier meta decks. And, yeah, if you know how to do those combos right, that's what you can do. 14,600 damage, have no cards in your hand, make 20 more plays. And stop your opponent from doing anything. Yeah, so Dark Magician deck is not a meta deck if you can't tell, but it can be fun if you're facing somebody else who isn't running a meta deck. Which is how a lot of decks work. So that's that's it for this one. I mean, if you guys want to see more Dark Magician, let me know. I might upload another video for fun of just, like, games that are <laughs> like this. Woo! I've been talking forever, but, I mean, the video is short anyway because I got OTK'd twice. Oh, man. Well, I hope you guys have a good one. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Till then, have a good one.